for all the benchmarks on this computer, I wanna go over the parts. We have the MSI Carbon Z790, hands down, one of the best looking motherboards that you can get for 12th, 13th, and 14th generation CPUs. It has one of the most stable XMP profiles alongside MSI's Try It in the BIOS. So if you get 7,000 megahertz RAM, you can pretty easily get that memory up to like 74 or even 7600 megahertz. We have an i7 13700K. We have a one terabyte NVMe. We got 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. We have the Zotac RTX 4070. We have an 850 watt Seagull Top power supply, which I'm gonna remove this sticker right now. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. This is a fully modular power supply and it also comes with the new RTX 40 series adapter. So you're not gonna have to plug in a bunch of like PCIe into the actual little cable adapter that the graphics cards comes with, which is nice, makes cable management a lot easier. We got some basic uh, case fans for the actual case. And then we have a thermal right 360 millimeter AIO. This thing actually works incredible. It performs just as good as the NZXT Kraken with it with like a five degree Celsius range. And it also up, it does good job in comparison to the EK Nucleus and then the ASUS. Those are the only three other AIOs that I have compared to this. ASUS Tough case, which is actually surprisingly pretty cool. There are Velcro straps for each of these that it comes with. So you can like mount it underneath your desk and like whatever, mount it. You guys understand. And then something that I find pretty interesting is that you can literally put your AIO in the back of this which i think is pretty neat and I've never seen that done before now you are going to have to remove these panels in order to install your fans and that kind of stuff but overall this is a really cool looking case it feels very heavy duty it feels honestly it feels similar to the nzxt case i don't want to say it feels like the 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 lee and lee dynamic evo because that is literally the like most like premium feeling case that you can get so now i'm going to go ahead and build this fella and then we'll benchmark it so you guys can see the performance and all that kind of stuff